gorgeous Scorpios. I hope everyone is well. This is Debs and this is your reading for mid-June 2024 and it is quite hot here in the south of France. I hope wherever you are in the world everything is good. Now Scorpio I couldn't help but chuckle because <laughs> in meditation um, I first of all saw someone putting a sold sign on a painting. It was a big red sticker there were a load of people looking at this particular painting and someone moved from the back of the crowd to the front and stuck a red sticker on this painting. And a couple of people were sort of <laughs> making disappointed noises. Oh, oh, it's a shame. Oh, OK, it's sold. That's really annoying. Oh, and someone felt really relieved. The next vision I had, and don't laugh, was of a dog lifting its leg on a lamppost right? <laughs> so I don't know, Scorpio, whether somebody is marking their territory. Somebody may be wanting to lock someone down. It could be you. There's a sense of it's mine. It's mine. Almost golemish, right? Almost golemish. My precious. Yeah, so Scorpio, let's get into this and see what comes through. Interesting visions. The deck that I'm using is the Legacy of the Divine Chiron Marchetti. As you guys know by now, everything is listed down below. The link to my website if you'd like a private reading, all the decks I use, and the link to join the channel if you're interested in membership. So Scorpio, someone is marking their territory. Somebody is putting a big red sold sticker on someone else. <laughs> so here we go. Archangel Michael, what do we have, please, for my lovely Scorpios? Mid-June 2024. Mid-June 2024. Ooh, one card flipped. Wow. Ace of Pentacles. Is somebody about to propose? All right, guys. I don't know why I'm hearing the words wrapped up really tight with a bow. You're protecting something, Scorpio. You're also hiding it from other people's view. I mean, this is the equivalent of you finding something incredibly valuable in a junk shop. And you're immediately saying to the sales assistant, OK, I want that reserved. I'm going to put a down payment on it. I'll be back in an hour. Just put it somewhere down underneath the counter. I don't want it out in open view. Right. Yeah, it's that sort of energy, Scorpio. Wow. OK. Mm. You're making sure, Scorpio, that this is yours and yours only. Um, but it could, Scorpio, be someone who is very territorial about you. We'll see. The King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, the Five of Cups. Scorpio, I may be connecting with a feminine here. You could have a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn, Scorpio, who is wanting to be with you. You may have, in the nicest sense, given this person an ultimatum. If you want this to work out with me long term with you, we have to talk about a really serious relationship. No messing around, no friends with benefits, no casually dating. We're dating for marriage or something like that. I've got to be honest, Scorpio, whoever this person is may have pulled back to do some thinking. Feeling a little bit disappointed. Oh, I thought the Scorpio and I could just see where it goes. No, Scorpio, what they're realising is 
You're not messing around. You're not messing around. In the past, Scorpio, Nine of Wands. I think you had a few issues with this King of Pentacles. He could have failed to take charge of a situation he was in to be with you. Or it could well be that this is someone who was very eligible, wanted a relationship, but when it came down to it, a little bit commitment phobic. And I think with the Nine of Wands and the past Scorpio, you may have got a little bit fed up waiting. After that time with the King of Swords, you may have put this person on ice and dated an Aquarius, Libra or Gemini masculine. I'm not saying, Scorpio, you might have done that strategically, but you may have wanted this person to feel a little bit jealous. What you're thinking about, Scorpio, is the Hierophant. Now, you could be dealing with a Taurian masculine, or this is a masculine who is still involved with someone else in a long-term commitment. They've been taking their time in ending it. It may well be Scorpio that if he's not attached to anyone else, this is you wanting marriage, wanting a traditional serious relationship. But up until this point of time, he's kind of been sat on the fence. And this is you thinking, OK, got to take charge of this. What can I do to get this guy to step up? In the immediate future, Scorpio, Four of Pentacles. Mm. You're going to be holding back from this King of Pentacles at this point of time. What you're fearing, Scorpio, is that either with the Queen of Wands, he's going to be snapped up by someone else a.k.a. the Queen of Wands, or what you're fearing, Scorpio, is that you're going to remain as the other woman if this guy is in a relationship with someone else. All of you are in different situations out there. You take it as it resonates, Scorps, okay? In the environment, Scorpio, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So whoever this King of Pentacles is, he's been looking at the past. He's also been looking at his finances. Okay. After that time, Scorpio, in your hopes, the four of wands, hoping to get serious, hoping for a proposal or for you two to talk about moving in together, setting up house. The final card, Scorpio, is the star. Aquarian energy. Now, that can be an elusive card. It can be you getting everything you've ever wanted. It can be you having to pull back and heal. So let's hope that this is going to go your way. Clarification for you, Two of Cups. You already know that you love this person. You do. Strong past life energy. But with the Ten of Wands, they have been taking their time. I'm hearing and some. OK, so this King of Pentacles is thinking about the past, maybe time he spent with you or thinking about money. Clarification for him, the magician. He knows that he could manifest this with you. But with the Eight of Pentacles, he may have temporarily turned his back on this and decided to concentrate on his career. Now, if that's the case, Scorpio, this is you getting a little bit jittery. Well, hang on. Um, I waited and waited and waited. I then dated someone else. But he's still not getting serious with me. What is going on with this guy? He knows I want to get serious. He knows I want to get married. It's almost the energy, Scorpio, of what else can I do? You may be getting to the point where you just want to give up. But I don't think you are with the Four of Pentacles, even though you're holding back from him. And it may be a little bit strategic. You're still wanting to hang on to him, you know. So under the deck, guys, we have the Seven of Cups sitting in a little bit of confusion. 
the Three of Wands. Waiting for your ships to come in. You two may live at a distance for some of you. The High Priestess, not a lot of talking. You're just trying to use your intuition. So, my lovely Scorpios, let's get into this and see what comes through. So I feel I'm connecting with a female Scorpio, but you could be a masculine, Saturn or feminine, guys. You know how it works. And of course, this could be completely reversed. All right. So, guys, King of Pentacles, Five of Cups. Now, you could be feeling disappointed, wanting to be with the King of Pentacles, but he's just not taking action. He's taking forever. And this is you a little bit annoyed. It could well be you're waiting for him to get out of a marriage. It could well be that he's simply single. You know he's eligible. You know you love him. You know he loves you. But he may be a little bit commitment phobic. He could be more into his career. So let's have a look at the King of Pentacles. What is that about, Michael? Thank you. Page of Wands. So he may still be sending you a few sexy messages, but I feel as if you're holding back a little bit. You may be holding back a little bit, Scorpio. With the energy of the sun... He makes you happy. You make him happy. There could be, though, distance involved with the sun. But both of you know the situation is what I'm getting. Enlightenment on both sides. Ace of Cups. Scorpio, you may have become enlightened that another woman was hovering around this guy. If you didn't already know, then you might find that out in the next few weeks. This could be the Queen of Wands. Now, she could be a Leo with the energy of the sun. So this is you potentially thinking you might have competition. The Hangman. You're seeing things from a different perspective now. And what you're realising is there's another woman around. You're a little bit nervous about that. You're a little bit worried. Pisces energy for some. Oh, gosh. And we've got the Queen of Cups. OK. Now, the hangman could be the Queen of Cups. This could be the other woman hovering around your King of Pentacles. Or Scorpio, this could be you, sat in the Queen of Cups, feeling a little bit stuck, understanding there might be a Queen of Wands in the mix somewhere. Or this could be you fearing you're going to remain the other woman if this guy is married. Again, it could be two different groups of Scorpios I'm dealing with out there. One group is dealing with a guy who's married. And is sitting on the fence. The other group is dealing with a guy who is non-committal. And there may be a Queen of Wands who has an interest in this guy. You're wanting to mark your territory. You're wanting to put a sold sign on this guy. But he doesn't seem to be taking action. So Scorpio, Nine of Wands in the past. Feeling just, uh, I wish this would actually turn into something. Mm, Knight of Cups. There was definitely emotions expressed between the two of you. Definitely. Nine of Pentacles. And you thought, well, I'm sitting in pre-Empress energy. In the nicest sense, Scorpio, you're quite a catch. And I think you thought, Scorpio, it's a done deal, you know? I mean, I know this guy loves me. I know that he wants to be with me. So I'm just going to bide my time. The Death Card. Waiting for transformation or waiting for him to end another situation. This is your Scorpio energy. After that period of time, Scorpio, he may have said to you, yeah, you know, I'm speaking to a lawyer about trying to get divorced, King of Swords. Or you might have felt he moved into a bit of a strategic energy. And at that point of time, you may have figured out there was another woman in the mix. Competition. 
So what happened with the King of Swords after that time? It may well be Scorpio. You realise that he might have met someone else. Hmm. The Fool. He may have headed off and met someone else. Now, he could have met an Aries female. You might have found out about that. You might have found out about that. Page of Pentacles. He might have said, oh, she's just a friend. I'm hearing in inverted commas here. Oh, yeah, she's just a friend. You may have felt suspicious. Or Scorpio, you might have put this guy in the friend zone because you simply didn't think he was going to take action. Now, for those of you dealing with a guy who was married or a guy who had a baby mama sat at home, he could have said, oh, you know, can't leave because of the kids. I've got to pay child support. It's going to be really difficult. I'm hearing excuses, excuses. OK, but it may have been difficult, you know, if kids are involved. I would, I would imagine that's a challenge. But you still tried to hang on to this. Now, with the energy of the Hierophant, he could be a Taurian, right? You're thinking about the concept of marriage, tradition, moving in together, getting engaged, getting hitched, that sort of thing. What's on your mind, Scorpio? Yeah, the Ten of Cups. You feel this guy would make you incredibly happy. But with the energy of the judgment card, he needs to make a decision, a decision between you and this queen of wands or a decision to leave a partner he's with in order to be with you. What are you thinking about? Mm, the lovers. We've got Sag energy here, Gemini energy here. With the lovers, he may well have a choice between you and someone else. Or he needs to make a decision because up until this point of time, it may have been simply a third party situation. And you don't want to be the other woman. So whatever's happening here, Scorpio, this guy has a choice to make. In the immediate future, we have the four of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. You're hanging on to the hope that this is going to work out. He's looking at his finances and he's looking at the past, potentially at the time he's known you. He could, of course, if it's relevant, also be thinking about meeting the Queen of Wands. So Archangel Michael, do we have timing for my Scorpios, please? When do we have the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles for Scorpio? Thank you, Michael. Do we have timing? OK, 18th of July. Thank you, Michael. He's pointing forward to the beginning of September. OK. So, Scorpio, within those two periods of time, you're holding back from him and he's looking at the past. This is him in quiet contemplation, reflection. What does he want going forward? Does he want to work on the connection with you? Is he going to make his move? He's thinking about it. You're quietly holding on to him, but at the same time, Scorpio, you're being cool about it. You're sort of holding back. So let's have a look at this guy's energy. What is this guy thinking about? Pertaining to my Scorpios, what is he thinking about? Seven of Wands. He may believe, Scorpio, you've become a little bit defensive. It could simply be that he's realised you're standing your ground. What is he hoping for with Scorpio, Michael? What is he hoping for with my Scorpios? The Hermit. He's hoping you're going to give him some more time to consider what he wants. He does feel left out in the cold from you. He does miss you. So you've obviously held back. You might have detached just to give him some thinking time. Or you may have detached Scorpio because he wanted him to realise how much he missed you. He could be a Virgo with the energy of the Hermit. 
What does he really want from my Scorpios, Michael? Does he want a serious relationship? What's going on with him? What does he want with my Scorpios? Wow, guys, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, Scorpio, I don't think you've got much to worry about. But this is a guy who likes to take his time. He's an earth sign. He's an earth sign. So this is someone who's going to make a very serious move, but when he is ready, <laughs> which could be a little bit frustrating for you. What is he hoping for with Scorpio? Temperance. Scorpio, he simply wants you to give him some time. He's wanting to coast and chill and think about things and work on his finances. And he doesn't want any pressure. So if you've detached from him, that was a wise move because it's giving him time to miss you whilst not feeling under pressure to make any kind of decision, even though he knows that you're not going to wait forever. <laughs> right? Is he going to say anything to Scorpio over this period of time? All right. He, for some reason, is feeling highly stressed. Now, he could be stressed about ending another relationship. Oh, my gosh, right? I put a lot of money into this partnership. I'm going to lose a lot if I get divorced. It could be that... He says to you, you know, I think about you all the time. I miss you. I dream of you. But he's still not ready to offer you that stable commitment. So he may say, I miss you. I think about you. I dream of you. But not much else. What else is he going to say? Anything else? The strength card. He may say, oh, it's really difficult to hold back from you. Oh, I really miss you. There's a lot of chemistry. There is a lot of chemistry. What else is on his mind? The Queen of Swords. As the days tick by Scorpio, he's realising that you may be becoming more and more distant with him. You're becoming a little bit colder with him each day that passes. Because you're getting fed up with the waiting game. What is going through his mind? Okay, the Queen of Pentacles. Either Scorpio, he knows you want to get married. I mean, it's as simple as that. And he's thinking, yeah, I know Scorpio wants to be my other half, King and Queen of Pentacles. And he's a bit nervous. Or he is connected to a Queen of Pentacles, King of Queen of Pentacles, could be his wife. This is a cold partnership based on financial security, but it is very financially stable. What are you saying to him, Scorpio? If anything, what are you saying to him? Page of Cups. What you're saying to him is, I love you. I'm here when you're ready to make a decision. Anything else? And then you're going to sit in fear, wondering what he's going to do. <laughs> Scorpio. Whilst you push down your emotions and you sit there wondering whether or not you should just walk away. Should I just cut my losses and walk away? Two of Pentacles. You actually don't know what to do. Are you going to say anything to him? At this point of time, you have been holding back. Four of Cups. You're disappointed. Four of Cups is, yes, I mean, you're attracted to him, but you don't just want love, you want commitment. 
That's the issue. Three of Pentacles. Because it may just be feeling complicated, a bit of an uphill battle. He's thinking about finances, the loss of finances. You're trying to work on building a foundation with him. You may feel there's also a Queen of Wands in the mix that you're a little bit nervous about. And so, Scorpio, you don't really know how this is going to pan out. What's the energy between you two? The Chariot, maybe a Cancerian. Cancerian karmic may be in the mix or very simply you may feel you two are sort of moving in different directions it may be becoming more and more difficult for you to sort of hold this together there may also be distance between the two of you so it may not be easy to get to see each other that much so Archangel Michael what is the energy of the star Two of Wands. Scorpio, you're still standing at crossroads. You may be thinking about an Aquarian. What is the energy from this guy? He's communicating with you about either someone sat in the energy of the star who could be a block or well, what he's saying is, I just want things to die down a little bit so I can then make a decision. So he may be having a few issues with his karmic partner. What else is he saying to you? Ace of Wands, I want this, I want you, I want this passionate new start with you. But with the energy of justice, there may be a contract in the way. Now, that could be him being married or it could well be that this is him wanting to keep things balanced. I don't know whether or not something has happened in his marital situation. His wife may have found out. Or he could have had issues with this Queen of Wands hanging on to him. What are you saying to him? Yeah, Scorpio, you're disappointed, Tower. It's as if, oh, no. Because what you're realising here is, again, he's playing for time. What are you going to say to him? All right, I think, Scorpio, you're going to call it quits. I'm sorry, guys. I think with a page of swords, what you're saying to him is, look, it's getting a little bit difficult. You're obviously not wanting to make a major decision here. I don't want to sit waiting forever. So maybe we should leave it. Ah, oh, guys. The eight of swords. He's in his head about what he wants to do. You're in your head. You don't know what to do, whether or not you should wait. It's a challenge. What is he saying to you? I want to come and see you, Knight of Wands. I miss the passion. I miss being with you. What's your reaction to that? Scorpio, you're angry. It's as if, oh yeah, you want the passion from me, but you're not willing to sort out your situation in order to offer me commitment. You're just getting a bit fed up at this point. You're getting a bit fed up. What are you going to say to him? Scorpio, I actually think you're going to end it. I mean, Ace of Swords is, oh, you know, how long do I have to wait? OK, I think this is done. Because at this point, Scorpio, you're either realising he's not ready to leave a karmic or you're realising there's a Queen of Wands in the mix and you're a little bit nervous about that person. Um, now, this could even be somebody who's found out about you two having a fling. Right. And you're a little bit nervous that she's going to set the cat amongst the pigeons. Could be something like that. Um, but I think this is you saying to him, I've waited long enough. I don't think this is moving forward. I feel that what you really want is an ongoing affair. Every time I try to talk to you, you say you want to manifest this, but then you turn your back saying you're thinking about your finances. 
So Scorpio, you're a little bit annoyed. You're a little bit annoyed. What is he going to say? What is he going to say? All right. It's about the money, Scorpio. Ten of Pentacles. It's about the money. What he's saying to you is there's a lot at stake. I think, Scorpio, something must have happened financially in his situation. It could have been a massive bill. It could be a Queen of Wands in the mix, competition for him, or a family member who found out that you and he were having an affair and is almost holding this guy to ransom, okay? If you do anything to wreck the stability of a situation, then I'm going to tell so-and-so what you've been doing, something like that. This could even have been a family member, Scorpio. Queen of Wands could be a family member who might even have been this King of Pentacles daughter who twigged that you and he were having an affair. And she may have been very nervous that any inheritance would have been scuppered if he left this Queen of Wands mother. And this Queen of Wands may have been protective over her mother too. It could even have been something like that. Whatever happened here, something rocked the stability of the connection or someone found out. And what he's saying is the Ten of Pentacles. I have to keep the Ten of Pentacles secure, a.k.a. I can't lose money in divorcing my Queen of Pentacles. I'm sorry. I think you've been hanging back, hoping that he would make the decision to leave this woman to be with you. And what you're realising is, tower moment, he's staying in his legal contract. So what are you going to do, Scorpio? Oh, this feels really complicated, guys. I think you're going to walk away. Eight of Cups is, well, we've tried, but there are too many obstacles now in the mix. So I'm just going to have to detach. I'm just going to have to detach. The Wheel of Destiny. I think, Scorpio, you're going to move forward onto a new cycle. What does that new cycle pertain to be? What does that new cycle pertain to be? OK, Scorpio, I don't think that you were supposed to be with this King of Pentacles all along because you've got a super sexy King of Wands who is going to be romancing you in the future. So that person is the person that you are going to be forming a relationship with. Yeah. Wow. And with a nine of cups, Scorpio, this is going to be a beautiful relationship. There's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of going out, a lot of love. I think you're going to end up with the King of Wands. Underneath the deck, the Emperor, you guys could end up married. He could be an Aries. So, guys, I am leaving the reading there. I really hope it's helped, Scorps. Let me know in the comments if this is your story. Take care of you, sending love and light your way. And I will be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you soon. Bye now.